Hello and welcome to the Dusseldorf Boat Show 2020. Here in front of us today we're going to take a look around the newly launched Manhattan 68 from Sunseeker in Poole. She replaces our outgoing Manhattan 66 and prior to that the 65. Sits in the range currently between the 52 Manhattan and the 76 yacht. This particular boat is a four cabin layout, available as standard on the shaft drive with twin man 1000 horsepower engines, with the upgrade to 1200 horsepower on shaft or an IPS 1350. Base price is starting at 1.75 million pounds sterling without tax. And the boat as you see it here today, with all the extras is around 2.4 million pounds, excluding tax. See the outside finish is done in a stone grey hull, hull band. Uh, we do the option also with a black, blue gel coat or a sprayed finish if you want to do something even more eye-catching. So black GRP boot top there running just above the anti-foul line and these huge signature hull windows that let a massive amount of light down into the lower deck cabins. Real statement piece. Lots of attention to detail. We've got carbon fiber engine vents up there. Change to the rails running around the side of the boat. You'll see that stainless steel strip where there'd normally be a, a paracord guard wire. A ever increasing level of quality. I'd say it's a great looking boat. Very popular in the charter market with four cabins, three bathrooms, two crew in the back. But equally at home, very much as an owner operator size. With the addition on this particular boat of a joystick system does make docking very simple. Let's take a look from the bow profile. See the typical aggressive Sunseeker sharp point of entry there. Still sea keeping being a top priority for us. Uh, with the 1200 horsepower engines, we're looking at a top speed around 32 knots, cruising somewhere between 20 and 24 knots. She's just over 21 meters long and about 5.25 meters wide. So fits on typical med style moorings. And we'll head on up into the cockpit for a look around. Morning. <laughs> Take a okay, close up look at the carbon fiber engine vents here. Some nice stainless steel detailing. Again, between the windows here, we've got a nice stainless steel panel. Okay, let's take a step on board. So a hydraulic high-low bathing platform, of course with Tika standard. And new to the range here, we have the new, newly launched beach club as an option. So we have a, a soaker shower in the roof there, storage for fenders. And on this particular boat, we've got dive kit storage, towels, and a pop-up teak seat there meaning that everything falls to hand and there's no storing it up on the flybridge and having to drag it down to the water when you wish to use it. Also hidden under the aft panel here is a locker for sea bobs. So again, close to the water. These are about 35 kilos each, so not easy to drag from other parts of the boat down to the water for launch. It's very straightforward. Lift up door to the crew cabin, meaning that access even when the tender's on the platform is very easy. 
and a very practical finish with a wet room floor. Again, you can specify this more in keeping with a guest cabin if you need the extra berth. We have two single beds. Washer dryer there. And a good size heads compartment. Moving on up into the cockpit, we can see great access either from the port or starboard side from the platform. And we'll go up forwards first. So, taking you down this port side deck, you'll notice how big the expanse of glass is here. So, acres of natural light into the boat. Teak, of course, is an option on the side decks here, some parts of the world. Perhaps you're better off with a standard non-slip finish, just due to the heat. So right in the forward section we have this sunbathing area with lift up backrest cushions as an option. And then behind we have this teak opening twin leaf table with a seating area. And tucked down behind it, you'll see that stainless steel frame that provides a sort of a clamshell bimini arrangement for sun protection when you need it. So quite an imposing boat from the front here. Typical Sunseeker DNA from bow to stern. So moving aft, you'll notice here on the starboard side we have a door which goes through to the lower helm, ideal for a captain when docking. Just taking a look around the cockpit here. We have controls for passerelle, bathing platform, the beach club. This particular boat has a platinum Mediterranean package which includes a number of features. You see the aft docking winches here. Lovely size twin leaf teak table with that heavy stainless leg. Nice feature in the aft cockpit here. Different options here if you wanted to do something more as a coffee table arrangement, but we find a lot of guests like to dine outside in the evening. There's space to put a couple of director's chairs here in the cockpit. So blank canvas this space. We can add additional seating or a small bar here on the port side. There's some space to create different Layouts depending on what you're using the boat for. Tucked under the cover here. See the optional third station control. Now this particular boat has the Zenta joystick system. Alternatively, you could just have throttle and thruster controls. If we have a look across here on the starboard side. It's a handy sink and the addition of another fridge for drinks. Feature LED lighting throughout, so you'll notice here on the steps, running all the way around the side decks, option for underwater lights as this boat has. And we'll move up to the flybridge. So very easy to use ladder. You can come down that forwards or backwards. Very safe with a rail either side. And you'll see this trend currently running through the market for more freestanding furniture. So we still have the option up here for a larger fixed seating running down the port side in an L shape. Or we can do a dining table up here. Or as this boat's laid out with two freestanding sun lounges. It does give the ability to clear the deck if you're into parties, want to have a dance floor area. With the freestanding furniture, obviously easy to clear up. Very versatile, just that sort of super yacht feel moving into the, the mid-sized flybridge yachts. This particular example has the optional GRP hardtop. You'll see here also painted in a, in a gloss black. Striking piece, so standard if you have selected the hardtop would be a white, white gel coat finish. 
but on this particular boat you'll see everything from the radar chair, the aerials and the roof painted in this really stunning black gloss paint. Uh, there's an electric blind on the back here which covers the sunbed when you need it with a couple of supports to go in place once it's out so you can run with it up. New style wet bar so easy if you've got crew on board it's straight at the top of the stairs and not having to walk through the guests to get to the fridge and the sink etc so we have a good size good size sink and then below an ice maker and a fridge again as part of the platinum pack here electric Kenyan grill so fixed seating here on the port side with some storage underneath and a very social sun pad. We just take a look up forward from a different angle. So it's a big flybridge, plenty of space up here for 10, 12 guests with ease. But equally not intimidating if you're running as a perhaps a, just a, a husband and wife team. So helm console with an upgrade here to the premium Simrad pack. So we've got twin twin plotters and open array radar, AIS, DSC, VHF, autopilot. Everything's integrated. Also works through an iPad. The Simrad's Go Free Wi Fi module. Uh, bow thruster is standard. Option in the Platinum Pack is the proportional stern thruster, so we've got a station hold function to lock these off, a sort of 30% on a pontoon to allow you to get off, tie your lines up, fly by wire, MAN controls, and the optional Zenta joystick. So this is very much a case of push it sideways, it's engaging engines and thrusters together. Twisting the top allows you going round in circles, so very much point and shoot solution for those running shorthanded. New multifunction Sunseeker steering wheel here, so we've got controls for some of the nav kit. Into engine readouts, autopilot control, so heavy duty LED switches. Teak deck up here is an option, again some climates more practical to stick with the standard white non-slip finish but it does finish the boat nicely if you're prepared to maintain it. It's a new wood for us, it's a Lignia which is a replacement to Burmese teak and it looks great, very difficult to tell the difference. So interior, you'll notice this huge folding patio door system so everything stacks back on the starboard side, allowing a real open feel to the boat and apart from that one small step in the middle everything is on one level. So dining here on the port side, this particular boat has a fixed table, lovely stainless steel detailing on the inlay there. This is a new wood for us launched back in September last year, first seen on the Predator 60. This is a smoked eucalyptus in a satin finish and then silver oak as a contrasting wood. There is the lighter colour. Wood floor in the galley here at the back is standard and then we have carpet moving forward into the saloon. You could run the wood all the way through if you so wish. Feature glass storage and the option there for a wine fridge. 
In front. With your Anona operator running as a charter boat with crew, very easy for serving both in and out with this galley aft arrangement. Right here at the back we've got a good sized fridge. And twin pull out freezer drawers. Everything's got these great catches, feels very solid. Mealy convection microwave oven. And on top, a four burner hob. Nice one and a half bowl stainless steel Frankie sink. And as was typical with all sun seekers, a full set of Royal Dalton crockery, which also comes with cutlery, glassware, towels, bed covers, etc. Very highly spec to standard. Again, feature lighting throughout the interior. And different to the 66 Manhattan, we've moved the access to the master cabin forward here to the port side. It used to be in through the doors on the starboard. So the saloon has switched to this slightly raised area with the seating to starboard. You see this expanse of glass behind. So honest panoramic view all the way around. Uh, premium AV pack, so this particular boat, 55 inch TV here, and again in the master, and then smaller TVs running through the cabins. Opposite the helm we have on this particular boat, this set up with the L-shaped chaise. And there are a couple of different options here. If you're looking for something a little different. Take a look over on the helm seat. So this is uh, upgraded to an electric fore and aft sliding mechanism. And again on the helm, a full suite of Simrad navigation, so two 16 inch displays, giving you a multitude of different navigation information, all repeated from the instruments we saw up on the flybridge. Again, multi-function steering wheel. And you'll see that side door there for access out onto the deck. Handy for med mooring. So let's head on down into the master cabin. So midships here to the port side. Absolutely exquisite. So we're a full beam master cabin here. Huge glass windows both sides. Nice stainless steel detailing there on the window. So you have storage on the starboard side of the boat here with drawers, cupboards underneath, bedside units there with storage in. And here on the port side, various layouts. So we have this option here with the chaise. There is also an option to take a, um, a table with two small chairs, or a sofa, or even the uh, a, a sideboard all the way through if you so wish. Again, storage underneath, and then hidden behind the door. There's a wardrobe here in the corner. Five inch TV, it's a Sonos system throughout the boat with a Wi Fi router to allow you to stream live music. Good size wardrobe, a 
and a private ensuite here in the master. Upgrade to porcelain throughout, so this is a stunning finish in here. So it's an expensive extra, but the luxury it gives really is quite amazing when you see it in the flesh. And the detailing runs through the shower here. This beautiful veined finish. See a rain shower in the roof there. Electric battery flush toilets. And lots of storage under the sink there. Absolutely beautiful. So we head on up to the secondary stairs that take us down to the guest accommodation. So moving forward here, there are three further cabins. First off in the bow is your VIP guest cabin with a centerline double bed. High level storage lockers either side. 43 inch TV there on the bulkhead. So detailing there, feature shelves, good size wardrobe there. And there is a natural skylight above us, currently closed off. But even so, us being indoors, it feels very bright and airy in here. We've got an ensuite here on the port side, again with the same feature vane panels there, and the stone floors, etc. And then in the midships, two very similar cabins set up here in a twin configuration. So as a charter boat, it's possible to have eight guests in total. Very popular at this size, where a lot of boats only offer three cabins. So nice detailing on the headboard, feature lighting, etc. throughout. And of course, an AV system. These two midships cabins share a bathroom, so here on the starboard side, this doubles up also as your day head. The finish to the same standard as the other two. Good size shower. And moving across the hallway here to the port side, here's your fourth cabin. lift the stairs up here, handy storage locker, never have too much storage on a boat, whether it's outside for water sports equipment or inside for extra bedding, food provisions etc, it does allow you to be away on the water for a period of time. So as specified, this particular boat's around 2.4 million pounds with all the extras excluding VAT. Have to say she's absolutely stunning. Long awaited. Demand has been very high for boats in this size, I say very much as an owner operator option. So if you'd like to know more information, my name's James Lumley from Sunseeker Southampton. We're a part of the Sunseeker London Group with 41 offices in 20 countries, supplying the majority of the Mediterranean, Adriatic and Africa. Our office is around 20 miles from the shipyards in Poole, where all these boats are built from hand, with a team of 2,500 employees.
and welcome the opportunity to either show you around here at the Dusseldorf Boat Show, which runs for another nine days, or encourage you to come to our shipyards where you can see them created from a barrel of resin through to the finished product here you see in front of you on the video today. We do still have some limited availability for the 2020 season, but delivery slots are being taken up fast. Now the boat is officially launched and on display to people here at the show. If you'd like any further information, please don't hesitate to call. My mobile is plus four four seven seven four seven six eight six five eight seven or drop me an email to james at sunseekersouthampton.com whereby I can send you a full presentation of photos detail specifications and options pricing. Hope you enjoyed the tour today and if you'd like to know any more please feel free to get in touch.